Hey there. Today we're going to be talking about a bolt point. Uh, I was contacted by a company called Bastion. They make uh, bolt action um, bolt points, bolt action mechanisms. I've seen before. Uh, I'm not really a bolt point person, but I said yes to it because I really quite like the design. Now, <laughs> I have felt this to be a very, very comfortable bolt point. I ended up really, really liking it, and I'm not a bolt point guy, and I will not become a bolt point guy, but what I will say is it's very comfortable to use. It's somewhat girthier than a lot of bolt points I've seen around, and as a result, I really like that girth. I find it very, very comfortable and pleasant to use. If you're interested, I'll, I'll, I'll go through all the, the details of the pen and I'll do a writing sample. If you're interested, the company did send me a discount code that you can use on their website. Um, I will put that in the description. There was also a link. That is an affiliate link. So that means that if you purchase your pen through that link, then I get a little bit of the kickback financially from that. This is not a commercial. I did not get paid to do the review. They just sent me the pen. They sent me this affiliate link. I have no affiliation with this company beyond that. Do with it as you please. I found it a very nice pen, <clears throat> excuse me, but let the review speak for itself. I'm not trying to make anyone do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not, that, that's, I'm just saying. Full transparency, affiliate link, there we are. I'm going to cover, the. I just hit myself in the head with it, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. Okay, let's look at this Bastion Bolt Action Bolt Point. Typically, I find I have a little less to talk about with bolt points because it's a it's a writing instrument I'm a little less familiar with, so I'm sure people talk about refills and all that stuff. Anyway, I'll do my best, right? So, Bastion, you get this box. Um, it's it's kind of nice, simple, and I really I really like it. Um, outer sleeve, then you have the inner box. Very simple. Uh, looks like this cardboard, little wrap for the pen, and then you have the actual pen in it. This is the red aluminum and this is the regular size, not the slim. Okay, um, what can I say about this? So, I already talked about the discount code, but again, check the description of the video. Um, bolt action, aluminum or aluminium. There is a slim version of available if you like it. I really like this girth, but you know, different people uh, might, might like something a little smaller. I'll show you this next to a Pilot Metropolitan so you can get a bit of a feel for the girth. I think it's about the same in barrel width. Um, $88.88 .88 right now, as I checked it online with these pens, you know, prices can vary a bit, so I need a sip of tea. What can I say? Um, we have aluminum. I never know if this is, um, what do you call it? What am I looking for? Anodized. I will say I had it with me. I took it to the post office and I dropped it outside and whatever finish it is, it, it can chip off. Can you, can you see that? Now I think that adds, I mean, it's mine now. <laughs> no, they just sent it to me. Um, I think that adds character to, to a pen. I wouldn't want that to happen to a $2,000 fountain pen, but with a, with a, with a ballpoint or a, like a metal pen like this, I think it adds something. Okay, here we also have that, that, uh, this, this mechanism. Um, I like it. It's, it's not the first time I've seen a mechanism like this, but it's very smooth, nice action, works well. I'll zoom out a little bit. Like I said, I always feel there's a little less to talk about with, with ballpoints for me, but we have a clip. Two little sort of screws in there, uh, clip, tight but works well. We have the Bastion logo, nicely rounded off on top. Then we have the barrel and the grip, I'm going to call it grip. For me, very comfortable. To me, this is a very comfortable girth. I wouldn't want the thinner version. I find this more comfortable, actually. I haven't tried the thinner version, by the way, but I... I really like this diameter. The girth is very good. Okay, obviously operates single-handed. That's one of the nice things of the ballpoint. Then we have the inside. We have that little spring that just rolled out. Um, and then we have this bastion refill. 
Uh, this looks to me like a, a Parker style refill, but again, I ballpoints are not really my, my thing. So I'm just going to put it back together and pretend like everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, also, you have a nice little o-ring i was gonna say rubber i don't know if it's rubber but whatever it is there's a little o-ring there that black piece there nice thing about that is that it screws in tightly and it makes sure this grip doesn't accidentally unscrew i have not had that happen a single time with metal and metal sometimes that happens and it can be a bit frustrating but even as you write nothing comes loose because of that the the friction of that that o-ring so i think that is really nice Final thing I can show you, uh, Bastian also kindly sent me this. I'll take it out of the little Ziploc baggie it came in. Um, there is another refill in there, which is very nice. This says gel. Ooh, I hadn't even, I hadn't even noticed that. I hadn't opened that, that um, um, sleeve yet. I will try the, the gel refill at some point. What I will say is, even this ballpoint refill, I'm assuming it's ballpoint because it doesn't say anything else, is very smooth. Usually I find them quite scratchy. This one is very nice. Anyway, here you have a felt sleeve. Little opening there. I don't know how you can see that. There's an opening there. It has the Bastion logo on it. Uh, and the uh, pen fits in very nicely, snugly. You can even cover its head a little bit so it won't get cold. Really nice pen. I've really been enjoying this, but you want to know how it writes. And that is something we shall turn to right here, right now. So we have, oops, sorry about that. That was, the paper was half off the edge of the notebook. We have here the Bastion Bolt Action Ballpoint. Um, I, I don't have a, a tip diameter for this, but it's really pleasant and not scratchy. And I don't believe it's gel. I do think that's an actual ballpoint. Yep, it smells like ballpoint. Uh, the, I think that's the oil or something in that ink. Really smooth, really nice. Really pleasant. I've been really impressed by this. A lot of my usual tests here will not work. The pressure, the line variation, the upside down writing. I mean, it's a round tip, right? So no matter how I twist and turn it, it's always the same side up. What I will say um, is that I found it to be a very pleasant ballpoint. I've signed some customs forms with it uh, at the post office. It works very well, feels solid, is pleasant to hold, pleasant to use. I really like it. I'm very, very impressed by the way it looks and feels. And I know I sound very enthusiastic, but if a product is a good product and I really enjoy using it, I will be enthusiastic. I did not receive any payment to do this review. So there you have it. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about this pen? As to likes, I think I've emphasized this enough, but it's a very pleasant writer. It's a very smooth ballpoint. Usually I hate ballpoints because they have a certain level of scratchiness to them. I'm sure ballpoint aficionados would then say, then you're using the wrong refills. I, I, I'm on board with that, I buy it. Uh, I just don't know much about ballpoints, period. So this is a very pleasant refill. It is Bastion branded, but I, again, I think it's Parker type, but. Please, someone correct me. I learn too. I don't, again, I'm not going to turn this into a ballpoint channel. But please let me know. Look at the video, let me know. I find it really comfortable. I like that it has a clip. You can easily put it in a bag or something. It's great. Um, the weight is nice. The metal is nice. The girth is nice. Like I said, there is a slim version available. This is perfect for me. I wouldn't want anything slimmer than this. I like that it has a bit more girth than many of the ballpoints I've used, which tend to get very pointy and thin and skinny. I like all of that a lot. The price is not cheap. You can get, this is what someone will say, you can get a 99 cent Bic crystal. Yes, you can. You would step on it and it would die. If you would step on this, I think there's a pretty good chance this will survive. But hey, to each their own. I'm not going to comment on it. I'm not going to say anything about it. It's a metal pen, and I think this is the kind of stuff that really a 
appeals to the EDC community, uh, which is certainly active out there, it feels solidly made. And to me, that's the best way to describe it. It feels like a solidly made product. I don't know if it's made in China, I don't know if it's made from OEM parts, but what I will say is whoever makes it, it feels very solid. And that's really the best way for me to put it. As I said, I took it to the post office, I dropped it on a concrete uh, sidewalk and the aluminum chipped a bit. This is a nice way to show you that up close. You can see the chips right there. That means that the finish can chip. And that's something that I would mention as a con. If you don't want that, you have to be very careful. Remember, you can get that nice little felt slip case for about 10 bucks that I've shown you in the video before. But if you carry around in pockets, and it may get scratched, dinged and dented. To me, a pen of this kind, that's kind of part of the juice and the charm of a pen like that, that it will get the signs of use because that makes it an everyday carry product. Not everybody likes that. I wouldn't do it with an Amiki Emperor, but a pen like this, I kind of like that. Like I said, it's not cheap, but I also feel with this you buy a quality product that will last you a very long time. That's all I have. So, I really quite like it. I find myself reaching for this quite a lot if I have to sign a form or like whatever, take a quick note. It's really easy, it's really convenient, really smooth, and it writes really pleasantly. There you have it. I hope this has been helpful. A very kind thank you once again to Bastian for sending me the pen. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope this has been useful and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.